A new species for me today. Bower bankia. Okay, so what, what is it? It's called Bower bankia citrine, and the citrine means it's yellow, and the Bower bankia is a kind of sea, sea moss animal, which means that it's very tiny and it grows on rocks and on bits of seaweed, anything that it can, in the air, intertidal area, which is the area of the beach where the sea goes in and out. So it's just like a, it's like a little seaweed. It looks like seaweed yeah. when you just look at it. It looks a bit like white seaweed because it's, it's white and, and transparent in places, but it's actually quite complicated. That colony group of lots of little animals that all live together and they've got a, a gut, a bit like you and I have, and then they feed by sticking out little tentacles. They go woo like that, and they're very sensitive to movement. So if they sense there's some food around, they're out, and they on them on their little tentacles. They've got tiny hairs which run up and down, run up and down, run up and down, and create a current that brings the food into their mouths. So it's like a colony disguised as a seaweed. Absolutely, that's a very good description. Well done. And they are the bottom of the food chain. And other creatures come along, particularly sea spiders, and try and eat them. Wow. Wow. There aren't as many sea spiders as there are these little bryozoans, so we're all right. <laughs> What's this little thing crawling in? Well, you've got a good eye. That is a sea spider. We've oh. just been talking about them. So that's that eats that. Yep. It's a very big sea spider, as sea spiders go. They're usually smaller than that. It's actually called a nymphon. That's its proper scientific name. Nymphon gracile. And it's uh, not uncommon. We get quite a lot of them. But you can see most people would never, never notice that. And when it's actually on the weed, it looks just like another piece of weed. It's so, so big that if I put it under the microscope, I'll only be able to see a bit of it. Wow. So that, by my standards, that's large. And it's probably what, its body is probably about three millimetres. But its legs are about four times as long. So it's got 12 millimetre legs. And it's pretty fed up. He doesn't like being out in the sun and it's getting too hot. And I think we should put him back, don't you? <laughs> yeah.